it is 12 15 in the morning and I'm going to the grocery store to buy ice because my refrigerator took a dump and of course my wife didn't tell me till 10 30 at night so I've exhausted all the stuff that I know so I'm getting ice calling in the experts tomorrow Luckily for us, I had two of these ice chest cooler boxes out here. Add it to the one ice chest that we normal ice chest we have, and hopefully that'll get us through the night. And it doesn't hurt that it's 55 degrees out. So things were a little crazy last night. Uh, you didn't gather that from the disjointed videos that you probably just watched. Um, I was started out with my mother-in-law washed her son's clothes and washed a pack of cigarettes with them. So my night started out with taking the dryer apart so I could suck out all the dried tobacco, which put me in a lovely mood. And then when I'm done with that, my wife says, hey, you know, come look at the refrigerator. It, uh, it, I don't think it's working right. Go in and check the freezer, and sure as can be, um, all the ice is just melting and dripping over everything. Uh, my frozen lemonade, you know, concentrates up there is completely thawed out. So, busted out the ice chest, got the food in the ice chest, at least you know temporarily uh, watched some YouTube videos went and checked all the obvious stuff and it's you know it's it's not prognosis doesn't look good so I called a repairman this morning and they should be out between 9 and noon uh, that's after I called into work and said hey I'm not coming in today so uh, just brought my son to daycare and I'm gonna go by Best Buy and see what they have um, that's affordable in my price range, which isn't much right now because I wasn't planning on this. And then uh, I just gotta wait and see what the um, repairman, you know, how much it's gonna cost to fix the one we have now. Because uh, the one that we have, I can buy the exact, the equivalent model for um, about 850 bucks. So if it's gonna cost more than 400 to fix the one we have now that's 15 years old, we might as well spend the extra four or five hundred and get um, a new one. Uh, that's not optimal because we we're hoping that you know next year we could save up you know and get a nicer model. Um, and my wife, my wife really wants stainless steel, but you know I can't justify getting stainless steel. You know, there's no way we can get a two thousand um, dollar refrigerator right now. It's just it's not in the cards. So anyway, I'm heading home. Um, it's 8.30, the repairman, like I said, should be there between 9 and noon. Um, so I'm gonna run by Best Buy and see what they have so that I can be 
um, prepared and make an informed decision. And it just started raining. Well, here's the expensive row. This is the medium range. Uh, I'm actually at Lowe's because Best Buy was closed. So let's see what we can see. store I was at the blue one now I'm at the orange one the yellow one doesn't open till 10 so let's see what we can find out here So now I'm at the yellow store. Looks like they have the uh, Memorial Day sale going on, so I'm gonna check this out. Still thinking Lowe's has the best selection. Kind of disappointed. They didn't have much for less than $1,600. And that's pretty much out of my budget. So Lowe's is looking like the best for now if I can't get the other one fixed. I just got a call from uh, the repair company. The repairman is on his way. So hopefully we will find out uh, what this is going to be costing us. I'm hoping it's not bad. I really don't want to get a new refrigerator right now. But we'll see. So it's an hour later, the compressor had some kind of relay that was on it that uh, went bad. So with, uh, with the cost of the relay, the cost for labor and tax came out to $296.30. And the guy said that everything's in good shape. We should get at least five more years out of this thing. So my price point was 400 so this fell under the 400 so we're keeping the fridge so it's still not you know 300 dollars i hadn't planned on spending but that's better than spending you know a thousand twelve hundred to get a new um, refrigerator so that's where we're at
of the things I always considered a, uh, a sign of prosperity, and necessarily wealth, but prosperity, was getting to the point of where I could afford to have a refrigerator full of food. That's something that a lot of people take for granted, but uh, it's not something that I always had as a kid. So having the ability to have a refrigerator full of food for me and my family so that we you know don't you know we're, we're never hungry I mean if you watch me we're never hungry I just I've always considered that a a sign of prosperity and as long as I can have food in here for my kids to eat I can't complain I mean I bitch and moan sometimes but honestly I can't complain